if you have squash and you want long-term growth, there are a few maintenance items you need to take care of. We just removed this squash leaf and four or five others, and the reason is twofold. One, this bug, which just hatched, is a squash bug, and these leaves have become home to a large number of their eggs and to their parents. There are so many insects that are helpful in the garden. Those that help with pollinating and pest control. This squash bug is not one of those insects. This bug sucks the sap out of the leaves and turns them yellow and then brown. So if we don't take care of these now, our squash won't last very long for us. If we want to maintain our harvest, we have to maintain our plants. We had to remove all of the leaves that had eggs on them. And we could have tried to pull these eggs off, but we removed the whole leaf for a different reason. These leaves also have powdery mildew. Now you can recognize powdery mildew on squash because it looks like it sounds. It's as though baby powder has been poured all over the leaves. And while there are some treatments for powdery mildew, these leaves were so unhealthy and we didn't want the powdery mildew to spread, so we cut them off at the base of the leaf stem to allow the rest of the healthy plant to survive. And we looked through the rest of the leaves to make sure we got all of the eggs off. This is what the eggs look like. And if you see them, you squash them. You do not want these spreading anywhere else. This is what our squash plant looks like after we've removed all of these leaves. And we've cut the stems all the way back to the main plant, almost flush. And now what we're gonna do is take these uh, foil strips that we made and create a barrier. We're gonna wrap them around the base all the way up until we're right underneath the fruit here and create a barrier so that we can prevent any boring or uh, any other kind of damage in general. And I'll show you what that looks like now. Instead of spraying with chemicals, we're trying these manual methods of caring for our plants. You know, they can grow for such a long period of time if you can monitor them and check on them. And you know, we hope this works. If this doesn't help, if it continues to be diseased, we'll try something else. That's the goal, taking care of the plants and really maximizing that harvest potential. You can see eight or ten different fruit ready to come in. Keep our plants healthy and keep them in the long term. We hope you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, leave us a like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, even when disease comes to town and the insects come to town, when you're with us, you're good to grow.